啦啦。Hello, peeps, and welcome back to Two Point Campus. Yes, we are back in Two Point County、um, after three-starring Piazza La Natra. We are now on a later version of、uh, the game, which is so nice、uh, because I recorded those、uh, Piazza La Natra episodes such a long time ago now. So it's really great to get back into the game、um, and move on. One of the new features is that we can now spin the map 360 degrees. Look at that. That's a new thing. Of course, it was never really designed to be seen from the back, <laughs> so, <laughs> but still a really cool little feature. It's got a bit of pitch on it as well.、Um, so yeah,、uh, it's really nice to be able to get up in there on the map.、Uh, we couldn't even do that on hospital,、um, and this is fairly new as well in、um, uh, in campus.、Uh, so yeah.、Um, so what are we doing? Well. I am moving on to the third campus.、Um, now you may know this campus. We've been here before. This is Mitten,、uh, Mitten University. Look at that!、Uh, it's going to be really lovely、uh, to get back into Mitten, isn't it?、Uh, I think so. And we can see that it's just edging on、uh, the cold, the cold place.、Um, the historic university is looking for someone to take them into the present by opening a modern campus on its hallowed grounds. Fantastic. Um, two point、uh, Prem. Look, Prem's been playing it. Brilliant. A、uh, little bit of competition. <laughs> We can see here as well. We've got、um, a little update here to the career goals. It now tells us when we have career goals, and it's also easier to see when we've completed something here. It gets、uh, a little、uh, orange circle around it. So this is nice.、Um, I thought we should、uh, probably have a look at what we've unlocked. Um, because、uh, it was all very busy, wasn't it, over in Piazza?、Um, so a blend of improvised comedy and theatrical、oh, economics. That's it. Yeah. Oh, look, look, we levelled up one thousand funny business students.、So、we're going to claim that. Lots of kudosh to go into、uh, Mitten, which is going to be great. Party events. Parties are a great excuse to drink some milkshakes and jump around with your friends. The cynics will say that it's. Dangerous combinations, but who invited them? So we completed ten campus parties. Oh yeah,、um, money,、uh, making money isn't our core objective as a campus, but it is our core objective as a business.、Uh, be smart with money and run a financially successful campus that brings in more money than it's spending on facilities, staff, wages, and defence. Sure, money isn't everything, but I forget the rest.、Uh, we are doing well、uh, with the old. Cash.、Um, so here we are. Look, that's nuts, isn't it? So we're going to claim that.、Uh, that's ours. Oh, look at this landscaping as a campus administrator.、Uh, you're charged with deciding everything about campus. <laughs> about campus.、Uh, from moulding the minds of our students to curating the grounds and its foliage.、Uh, design isn't just for the interior. Or what do you think? This is a hospital. <laughs> Nice. So we landscape five thousand tiles. I'm I'm into the landscaping. I'm enjoying it. Staff satisfaction award. We won that ten times. Shocking. So that's everything we've got going on here at the moment. Now it looks like we, have we only completed one? We've completed the kudosh one hundred percent. Smashed that one.、Uh, we've got bronze, silver, and gold on that bad boy.、Uh, good. Well, with that all cleared up, what's over here? Oh yeah, this has changed. We've got、um, the two-point、uh, squabbler, which we love,、um, and we can see. I mean, at the moment, the, <laughs> the game is, <laughs> you know, not being played by your good self. So,、uh, what we have here is characters from the game, myself, and people that work at Two Point. <laughs>、um, but there we are.、Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's fine, and、uh, none of these scores really mean anything because they're sort of largely testing and and all that sort of stuff. So let's. This probably doesn't mean too much now, but once you get this game very very soon,、um, because this episode is going out on the fifth、uh, of August, the game comes out on the ninth. It's so very close,、um, and then you'll all start popping up on here. I'm sure because many of us are friends from、uh, Two Point Hospital, and if we're not, why not? <laughs> <laughs> um, but yes,、uh, you know, we should start seeing names pop up here. It's going to be great. And look, we can we can、uh, focus on lots of、uh, different aspects here. Look at it! Isn't it great? Isn't it great?、Um, 
And uh, I mean, I have played other, I've played all the campuses, so I may pop up here on things <laughs> that you've not seen. Try to ignore that um, as best you can. Um, great, lovely. So it's great to see this look, and we can even uh, look, filter it and everything. Look at that! Look at that! We can see um, all the campuses. Uh, possibly may need to blow that out. I'm <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit glad to see that right now, but there it is. Um, it's happened. Um, you've seen everything. So, um, what can we see? Anything else going on? Ooh, we're looking forward to the magic level. We're looking forward to that one, aren't we? Uh, we were going to play that one before release, but uh, things changed along with Noblestead. Uh, because Mitten is technically the third campus, and I'm actually keen to play them in order. Um, yeah, okay, and we've been blocked off, look, from haven't progressed far enough to be able to see that um, so here we go then um, that's enough waffling isn't it shall we shall we uh, jump in Mitten University is an amazing place I've only been there once just went for the afternoon it's pretty confusing though there are so many different colleges and buildings I was lost in its winding corridors and cavernous libraries for several days it was a haunting experience but I must say, very picturesque. <laughs> Harrison Wolf. I love Harrison Wolf. He's definitely one of my favourites out there. Uh, love me some Harrison Wolf. Um, like that he visited the campus for an afternoon, got lost for days. Brilliant. The um, intelligent life. Welcome to Mission University, where the age old institution is trading in its gargoyles uh, for gigaflops and developing its first fully functioning robot. Uh, the university's antique facilities may be easy on the eye, but they're not ideal for cutting-edge science. Make a name for yourself by building the modern campus that Mitten deserves. <gasps> Fantastic! We're getting into robotics. Love a bit of robotics. Um, oh look, Bungle Technologies. We've got Sophie Nova here. Hello, I'm Sophie Nova, uh, founder of Bungle Technologies. We remember her, don't we? Uh, I hear, well, if you've played Two Point Hospital, uh, I hear you're trying to build a robot. A robot. Uh, uh, whew, been there, my friend. <laughs> the university has asked me to help however I can. I'm not building it for you, though. That would be cheating. Okay, good. Well, we're going to pause it because what's the first thing that we like to do when we uh, come to a new level? That's have a good butchers around it. Um, because there's so much, uh, so many lovely details in these two point games and I, I don't, I don't like to miss a thing, you know. Um, and Mitten is very much looking like Mitten University, isn't it? It's very much as we would expect uh, to see it. We can see here we've got an underground, they can just uh, come in here. Mitten is actually looking pretty spunky isn't it um nice oh i like the change of the color of the trees and we've got um oh oh look a road down there that's great isn't it got a road down there and then it goes out into the ocean oh it's like the little village <gasps> the little village oh look at that gatehouse thing back there this is oh i wish we could just see a little bit more you know, oh, I, I wish we could. Oh, 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 we can. Look, look, look. Oh, there's like stuff up there. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. Oh, there's a road along the seafront there as well. Beautiful, like this. As well. Just beautiful, beautiful. Right, okay. <laughs> um, and then we can see. Oh, look, this is a plot. So, um, I don't think I've ever actually showed this. Or did I show this? I'm not sure. Um, but we have all sorts going on. Um, yeah, the, the other things uh, pop up here um, and can be viewed. So we've actually got quite a lot of plots. Um, so we've got plot two. Look at this. Um, look at that. And we can see where the buildings, it looks like it would recreate these buildings, these very pokey, narrow buildings. Uh, plot three. Oh, lovely, lovely. Next door to this main one here, plot four over here. I can imagine three and four being plots we'll use, and five, yeah. Six, less likely, but it's over here if you want to expand to your wildest dreams. Back here, so that's where our starting building is, and this was, what, plot two or three? Look over here. Uh, excellent. We've got plot eight over here, 
and then plot nine as well so there's there's a lot of space here isn't there there is a lot of space um there's going to be absolutely no messing around here but we start with this lovely uh building here um i like that uh we've got these angles we might be keeping that sort of business uh going on um little outdoor garden in the center here something i've become quite the fan of i believe as well it's cold here indeed it is um so everything's cold but you can see that we have this item here the patio heater so it increases the temperature outside um allowing students look to be able to sit on the benny outside even though it's cold but be perfectly warm uh, there's a couple of items i think that heats up the outside which is uh, pretty great isn't it right let's unpause this so we need to build a lecture theater of course a robot uh robo construction and robotics uh employer a robotics teacher that's absolutely fine we're probably going to do a few other bits and bobs as well aren't we um ooh, oh the radio small batch homegrown radio with the pulp left in here's a musical palate cleanser that's sure to wash that pre-digested rubbish out of your ears see if you can taste the difference <laughs> Good. So don't really know where we're going to put everything at the moment. So we're just going to get started and not worry too deeply about it. So we're going to move that window away because look, we've got a window already in the campus. So we're just going to move that. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, we can't because we're building nuts. Um, and then this window here at the back. I didn't like that. We'll get rid of that. Um, I, I'm really looking forward to this because... Um, the same at Two Point Hospital, I believe, here in Mitten, we'll be able to get um, research unlocked, which means we'll be able to start upgrading things um, and also staff training. You know, it was the same in hospital, wasn't it? And it'll be the same here. Um, another reason why I was very keen to just wait <laughs> um, and play this next. So there we are. And this is the one we've saved so far. Um, but yeah, this is something that can get upgraded, and I'd really like to do that. Um, so there we are. We've built the uh, lecture theatre. Shall we get the member of staff? Um, who have we got here? A lollygagger. Mm. Starts the day uh, with a can of burp. It sounds a little bit like me, um, except it's Dr. Pepper. <laughs> um, oh, this one's good. Byron Bulge good name um excellent personal hygiene moves faster than most doesn't use enough milk again this one sounds like me also <laughs> right okay uh, so we're gonna pop him in there and um as you know uh it's personal choice you don't have to do this but i like to make sure that he will concentrate on teaching i has been um i have been asked why don't i allow them to do uh, multiple things um one i am insane for micromanaging micromanaging is not for everyone <laughs> of course and you don't have to micromanage that's absolutely fine um the game sort of allows you to do both uh, i like to do this because the teachers just like everybody just like the students do have needs and wants uh, and stuff like this so they do need a break so i don't want them to teach and then have to run off to private tuition and all that sort of stuff i want them to just focus on one task so when there are no classes running they've got plenty of time um, to relax and uh, stay happy or go and get training which is what we're going to be getting into now uh, all that sort of stuff because training takes time right so there's that robot uh, robo construction is a new one let's have a look so no templates yet for that um robo construction build robot robots and other amicable contraptions excellent six out of um six out of six six by six terrible film he's making a statement about the excellent commercial cinema thank you mr cushion for fighting the good fight wow look at this thing so I've put the door in sorry we just uh, i might occasionally listen to the radio <laughs> um it's alive uh here it is that does go back oh nice that does go against the back wall but we do have computers look either side as a result i might actually give ourselves just a little extra room either side it makes it feel a little bit more comfortable doesn't it and then the other needed item is the whiteboard wipe on wipe off <laughs> very good 
um, we do like references so uh, here is that now let's go to recommended because we have all these other beautiful things oh look big 3d printer so we these are probably going to be requested aren't they for assignments so we'll let that occur in the meantime look at these other bits and bobs which we can um build right now which we might actually um even though it costs a lot of money i think i might do all the same 3d uh, printer table uh prints its own table um you know i mean you laugh but generally i was um upgrading 3d printer by making it print its own upgraded parts <laughs> so you know you know it happens robotics uh console attempts to control the robot attempts to control the robot so this is where the robot will be made so we're going to make that face there um what is this development station where strange designs become strange reality look two percent uh learning um it's really big we're gonna have to uh add on a whole do you know what we're going to make this room massive because we might also have to add all this so we're going to to do that um and look and it looks like it's got stations all the way around it as well so gonna pop that over there and then we've got a couple of parts tables as well um oops i've just picked up the it's weird it's sort of got a little stuck there i think we might pop that board there so we've got a bunch of parts um component desk are these supposed to be spare it's <laughs> a good question uh, might pop that in there um, and then we've got look systems desk will your robot be good bad or stupid <laughs> another good question uh, a head desk on with their head <laughs> on with their head there we go and then look we've got little buckets as well look at little buckets <laughs> loose bits uh, free downgrades Ah, oh, we love a free downgrade and uh spare parts choose your fighter <laughs> look at that so they look cool don't they pleased i'm pleased now we're definitely going to need some windows aren't we yes this really was music there we go I think the campus could do with some better signage though <laughs> i mean i almost missed the concert and this segment could have been okay. a real train wreck if that had happened okay uh, do you know what i might Don't move these a oh, oh oh i hate i hate everyone <laughs> <Right>, okay <laughs> why why is it gonna be like this there we go move the windows in like that okay so we, we've got ourselves a um, bit of oh and we are oh, is there a window there's a window there that's good that's good that's good um and we might leave that as space for other rooms uh let's put in a couple of robotics uh, posters which we actually unlocked for students rooms um oh yeah i've got some news on that actually um so here we go uh, i made that sound really bad it's good news about the student rooms <laughs> about the dorms um good excellent there we go there we go how great is this um and there are other options look oh uh, 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 uh. we we enjoy oh i quite like that i do like that should we have that i might go i might go with that i like that I like that oh that's cool as well isn't it? i mean that's pretty cool isn't it gray matting okay. good so there we are we have our robotics now it's all up for saying start the academic year but we're not going to be doing that just yet are we no that all the, all, all the same let's come into manage course and let's take a look at robotics we like to have a good old butchers i like to bring them down to eight again a personal preference you don't have to do it um it's just that classrooms hold a maximum of eight students and i like to strictly control um how quickly the uh, campus grows that's all um it's a personal preference you don't have to do it uh, uh, along with that uh, amending your tuition fees um so we've got qualifications uh we're happy with look so we're going to be uh, getting a robo design room at some point um and then look assignments oh yeah we need to build a library all these items are going to be unlocking look they need all kinds that we haven't seen yet looking forward to that 
Um, so three years, medium difficulty. Uh, so you want to build a robot in the lecture theatre. This is your first year's robot tours inside the lab. Killer appliances. Someone set this thing to evil. Uh, second year, uh, one you commend. Designing a friend. Avoiding robot supremacy. Don't be a wally. <laughs> uh, Android types and go faster stripes. Brilliant. And in the third year, it's alive. A terrifying new world. Uh, stuck in lim limbo. Uh, what goes where? <laughs> Advanced functionality. It's a contraption. Brilliant. Um, and uh, let's see, because in Piazza La Natura we had no failed students, no students expelled, no students dropped out. Let's see if we can keep that going, shall we? Let's apply these changes. Um, yeah. It should be, yeah, we have got it on eight. And we're on uh, level three. That's fine. Good. So dorms dorms now of course we were uh, we saved a couple of dorms and i made a dorm um that was a mixture um between sort of tech and and all this sort of stuff but because there was a restriction wasn't there so i was sort of combining dorms however we can now save more that's right, we can save more designs, and it is the best. So, now again, people keep asking me, why do I only put one bed to room? Again, it's a personal preference. Uh, talks about this in the uh, first episode of Two Point Campus, why I only uh, go for uh, single uh, rooms. Um, the additional reason to that as well is that keeping students happy is actually quite a tricky business. Um, and I have found that mixing dorms amongst classrooms and stuff rather than getting all the dorms, I don't know, out in a separate building and that you're making students do a lot of walking between classes and they cannot attend to all of their, you know, problems. Um, so I have found um, keeping them close by is good. Um, as a result, I like, because I like to dot them around, having a single bed per room it is easier than if I make huge sprawling dorms full of beds. It's, but again, it's just a personal preference, all right? So we don't have to get upset about it. <laughs> it's okay. Um, so for now, we're just going to um, just build a quick dorm. A uh, quick dorm. Uh, because I would... I think it's been increased to 10. Although, don't hold me to that. We're just going to do a very quick thing on this. Um, I actually wanted a white, white one. Security breach. Um, we'll, we'll pop a desk password. in. And it's going to be cold. Oh, that's a point, actually, with the robotics room. So we are going to need um, heaters. Uh, okay, let's go to all. Let's put in rad. Okay. Okay, maybe it's going to be part of the level. It'll say, oh, it's really cold here, by the way. So here's, here's a radiator to warm everybody up. That's probably what's going to happen, isn't it? So anyway, we've got a dorm started. And now if we wanted to save this, which I don't at the moment. Um, but if we did um, save template. 20, they've put it up to 20. So we can have 20 different um dorm templates i mean that's amazing isn't it that's i i'm just so very excited it means now that i can have all the dorms i ever dreamed of um and more uh so very excited about that i am now going to start uh, designing dorms per subject um so i will probably be deleting some of the older ones um yeah so that's that's a thing good lovely so we're going to need um uh, two what's happened here we're going to need two dorms um, yes we are uh, we are also going to need um, bathrooms um, so we're going to pop in a bog uh, let's I'm gonna actually um, do you know what we might will that will they fit here it looks like they might do actually a toilet there like say that where things go it always changes doesn't it uh, as things develop but we want to get started um so we've got toilets um what have we got in the way of janters at the moment Ooh, look hey uh move slow the most get out of it oh excellent personal hygiene uh, hygiene uh, dives head first uh periwinkle uh 
toilet comfort decreases slower the most behind the times uh, it's the complete opposite of what this uh, wants except we are going to go with thomas right okay <laughs> ah, we are going to go with thomas uh, we're going to keep him doing both for now um indeed we are oh god we could get in like oh look at all these uniforms i'm so excited for it. anyway let's get a library we want a library here it is um i think should we stick the library there what if i what if i upset oh okay we might need to recreate or redo some of these templates um now let's see what have we got in the way of assistance oh look we do has moves faster than most um i mean they can use a library um i think without somebody who has library management but look if they do have library management they get a five percent learning boost um so we want that in also i've become really fond of the yellow vest because I, I used to wear, I used to put my stuff in, in this, uh, in hospital, didn't I? So that's going to start happening again. Um, and also I want to make sure, because they have that library management, I want to make sure they only work in the library. Um, I don't want them going anywhere else, you know. I want to make sure that my students, when they're in, when they're working in this library, my students are getting that benefit, right? it's um it's important uh so what else well we're going to need some food and drink aren't we definitely um so what have we got here we're going to start cheap um as you do we're going to start cheap we're going to keep food and drink quite uh, central for the moment um we will um probably put a couple of burp machines let's put hand sanitizer there in the middle um, we're also going to pop binnies, one here, one here, excellent. Uh, we're going to put in a couple of these, bit of entertainment, never hurt anyone. Uh, we also want to get some social items going, so romance and friendship. Uh, and let's get some bennies down. Okay, I've become quite fond of the purple bennies. Uh, so, do you know what? I think we're going to that might actually be a bit excessive because uh, we want to try and get them to gather rather than more taking a benny each we'd like them to sort of gather a little bit um so and this just helps increase attractiveness for the area they're all going to be terribly cold uh, and then they can come and sit down socialize eat some grubs all that good stuff that table is a little bit off okay good um that's pretty great pretty great um now clubs yeah so what have we got here we still got uh, the speed walking club and we have the power nap club i think we might see if we get any new clubs unlock um otherwise i think we are ready to start uh, the academic year um indeed uh shall we do it we're almost out of time but we might as well start uh, improving our campus level will allow us to open new courses as well as upgrade our existing courses wow he's uh, definitely gone modern isn't he who i call spalding um, but that's not his name uh, campus level is determined by the quality and quantity of our staff students and facilities Ooh. okay making improvements robots can't be built in a day not by students anyway it takes a cutting edge facility to promote innovation try modernizing your campus by training staff and upgrading equipment yes this is what we want build a training room i'm so excited um i will be doing that in the next episode a robotic student has arrived um we need to name some of our students don't we and spend some time with them but we'll get the campus up and running first um there's a bomb in there not good mandy vinegar <laughs> mandy vinegar wants to join a club yeah i'm hoping we might get a different club so there's a robotic student don't they look great um also um what's their perk so passionate about robotics that they've made some modifications to themselves 
That's certainly one kind of commitment. So she's studious, prioritizes assignment, assignments and is uh, quick moving. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Look at them. Look at them go. He hasn't. So he's doing... I'm not seeing upgrades on these guys, but they are still doing the... Uh... <laughs> They're practicing, maybe. Practicing. It's a rebel. That's a point, actually. Um, if we just... Uh... Not that one. Not that one at all. If we just come into here a minute... It, but it would have told us student types that attracts or not. Ah, I thought somewhere it told us the student types that uh, get attracted. Maybe I'm looking in the wrong place though. This is nice as well. This is new. Um, next uh, year campus requirements. Um, so you can start to get an idea of what's coming and, and stuff like that, which is uh, really helpful really helpful anyway we've opened the campus we're about to go into our first uh, lesson which is here in oh they've instantly gone to talk to their teacher uh that's nice i like that uh he's just hanging around i think he got blocked in the door a little bit on his way in that's fine that's it find a seat find a seat that's it hello welcome everybody um and again at uh, the the student capacity in here is eight so now we can see that they're all in class i don't need to worry about anything i don't need to build anything extra um so that's good um but um something that we probably will be uh, doing because you can put multiples of uh this lecture seating into a theater because movie nights um i found that i like to do two lots of seating and have one that's a dedicated theatre, right? Uh, cinema. So that uh, it fits lots of students all in one go. Um, but yeah, here we are. Uh, we are going to call it there, I think. <laughs> I was uh, watching the pictures. I uh, like to see uh, what happens on screens during each class. Um, but there we are. We've, we've got set up in Mission University. We know we're going to be uh, looking at training and upgrades, most likely, in the next episode. Um, and we've got our first class underway. It's happening. We're doing it. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you to all my Patreons for their continued support.